Hello again, Hi Mesa Standards, Teresa Dupre here with our Sable Party Standard Poodle Male in the red collar. This is Huron, and Huron is our biggest male. Um, He's going to be a pretty big boy for us, for my program, which usually runs around 45 to 55 pounds. I, I think he's going to be at the top of that and possibly even 60. So um, he's going to be a bigger boy. He's a sable, which means that most of this beautiful markings will turn fade out to white. Um, he's got he's a cream sable, so he's got cream here. If you can see that, that will end up being white. His tail has some black in it, so um, he might end up keeping some of the black in his tail and the black tips on his ears usually will stay on a, on a sable. He is a gentle giant. He's super, super soft hearted and mellow. Um, he is um, a little timid um, and he's, as he gets a little bit older, he's actually gotten a little bit shyer. Not a lot, but um, he's cautious. Um, he is not going to be your, uh, what do you call it, your protection dog. He doesn't have the heart for that. He's just a very sweethearted. He loves other animals. He loves kitties. He loves other dogs. He loves people. But he also has his, he's still very adventurous and wants to go wander around and smell. And um, he is curious, very curious. But he also likes to take his naps. He's a low, in, um, low energy boy. Um, he's pretty low maintenance as far as, you know, he, he doesn't really demand anything. He doesn't demand your time. He's a little more independent that way. Um, but yet he does like to be with you and lay down. I wouldn't say he's a snuggler. I haven't noticed that to be true, but when I just, you know, snuggle with him, he's totally okay with it too. So I wouldn't say that he initiates snuggling at this point, but neither did Rose. I think, I don't know if that's a Sable thing. Maybe some of you Sable people can weigh in on that. Um, but my Montrose from my litter, same mom and same dad. So it's a sister from another, in a different litter. And she is also a little timid. Um, she's cautious, very cautious. And she won't fight for attention. She was a little bit aloof when she was younger. Um, he's not really aloof. He's just uh, nonchalant. He's just very nonchalant. And and um, his sister, she has gone on to get her championship. It took her two shows is all. But her first show, she ran the whole ring the whole weekend with her head down, to, almost with her nose touching the ground. She was so um, insecure about being there. But I just kept taking her. I kept bringing her to work. I kept taking her to Home Depot. I kept taking her in the car. She actually threw up in the car um, several times when we first started her in the car. So I'm going to start him um, this week in the car. Um, but I don't know if it, I, I just kind of feel like it's a sable thing because she's sable, he's sable, and he acts just like her. But I have to tell you, she is actually um, even better than her mother, who I didn't think you could top as a good dog. Um, she's just a great dog and she obeys she had her chewing stage like all puppies do, which was pretty, you know, pretty rough. She kept taking my underwear and my socks outside the dog door out into the backyard. And then she chewed a pair of my Uggs. So that was kind of a bummer, but <laughs> that's a puppy. And you know, that's something that you have to deal with with puppies is that they chew. But after she got through the chewing stage, she was done. And she does not do that anymore. She does not wreck the house at all. Um, she's just a really good dog. So I'm guessing that he is going to be as well. Um, he just is, where are you going? No, you gotta stay right here. He um, is just a big, big lovey baby. So look how giant his feet are. I'm gonna bring him closer so you can see his little feet, his big giant feet. Oh my gosh, they're huge, huge feet. And I just um, groomed him, shaved his face. He did really good with his face. He did super good with his feet. 
but you'll just, whoever gets him is gonna have to tell his groomer he prefers to lay down while he's being groomed. <laughs> and then he's super still. Once he lays down, like I said, he's low energy. He just doesn't wanna sit there that whole time standing. And so um, he would not be good for pro show prospect because he does not want to stand all that time. <laughs> so he'd rather be out um, wandering around in an open field um, looking for bugs and stuff because he really likes to explore. So once again, this is our red collar male. Here is his, oh, hold on, let me get him. Here is his body on this side. He's got more color on one side than the other. And then here is his body on this side. And like I said, he's a cream sable and cream sables seem to clear, uh, more of their color clears completely to white. So he, this most likely will be all white. The tips of his ears will be black and maybe a little bit of black left in his tail. But pretty typically that is all that stays, um, that stays white. I mean, that stays colored. So, and then he also has the melanistic mask on his face, but so did his sister Rose. And I was just looking at her the other day and she really doesn't have it. She's got a dark skin on her face, um, but it, she just doesn't look like she has a mask really. It, it's, it's there, but it's just way deep. So anyways, that is um, Huron, our red collar male. If you're interested in him, he is available at this time, at the time of this video. Um, you can go on to my website, highmesastandards.com, and scroll down on the home page all the way to the bottom and shoot me a note. Tell me you're interested. Um, it's also got my phone number. You can call me. I can give you references. These puppies are um, bomb proof. They have had um, so much training already and they still have one more week. They're ready to go in one week. So um, around the 20th, the 21st of, of June. Wait, is that right? Yeah, I think so. Um, they will be nine weeks. So I like to keep them um, till they're nine weeks because they do a lot of training during that time and their mind is very mature and ready to be trained. So um, I keep them just for you guys so that you have a better sounder puppy. Um, and I do a lot of training from eight to nine weeks. So um, yeah, and then we want them to go to homes to get used to their own families and to, um, you know, start associating what they've learned and um, building it from that owner. So um, yeah, nine weeks is a great time to get them. 10 weeks is okay too. So yeah, you just um, shoot me a note and let me know. Blessings.